today we are going to chat about something uh, exciting, and this is you graduating, uh, whether it's this year or next year. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. And before I jump into um, the practicalities of of things, we do want to just chat with you a little bit, just a, a little bit about mindset, some things to thinking to think about. Uh, with me today, uh, many of you know your guidance counselor, Miss Van Eiselstein. So she is here. Good morning, Good Good morning, morning. everyone. And uh, she's going to uh, chime in as well. And we're going to tag team it as uh, we go through. It's just a couple of slides here, uh, students. And there'll be opportunity for you to ask questions in the chat as well. And we will also, at least I, I will stay afterwards for a couple of minutes if you do have any very specific questions that you want, want to ask. Okay, uh, let's get started. You know, graduation uh, can be stressful when you think about what happens after graduation and you'll talk to two different types of people right you'll you'll talk to the individuals that are just like hey so what are you doing next year and i tend to be one of those <laughs> individuals where i'm like hey so what's your plan for next year and that can be stressful when you're asked you know constantly what are your plans for next year assuming that you get through this year <laughs> And so that's added added stress. And then there's in individuals that say, you know, how can you know what you're going to do in your future? You know, just you know, don't worry about it, and just uh, you know, finish off this year and try to try to figure things out for next year where you might go. The thing is, there's a really nice happy medium that we can do in this stage in our life where we can start uh, thinking ahead on. Uh, the, the first steps are like this next chapter. You're not deciding what you're doing for the rest of your life right now. What we're all we're looking at is what what does the next three months look like after graduation or leaving the school? What does the six next six months look like? And then what does maybe the year look like? So there are some things that we're going to send your way to help you start thinking about that if you haven't done it already. One of them is going to be my blueprint. You can all sign into my blueprint, but there's aspects in my blueprint that they're going to give you some surveys and they're going to say, okay, what are you good at? Um, where's your natural abilities, things like that. What do you enjoy doing to help you sort of go in a certain way? So some of those things are going to come your way. And I really encourage you to take the time to do those things. But I want you to realize that you're just at the beginning of the year and it's great to have some goals to help push through when things get get tough. And so if you're that individual that you are close to that finish line for graduation, then you know that, okay, I need to be passing these courses. That's good. Uh, that little, little added pressure to be able to say, this is where I wanna be my goal at the end of this year to help you get through when things get tough. Right when you're when you know that you're gonna you should be studying for an assignment or an exam coming up, and a friend calls and says, uh, you know, on a Tuesday, hey, let's go out, and you've got that conflict. You think about that goal. What do you want in the end? Can you put that Tuesday thing off so that you can prepare for Wednesday? Things like that. Goals are really helpful that way. And then for some of us. Um, this is not our graduation year. It might be, but it may not be. And I just want you to know that education is not going anywhere. And so if you need to take this year and maybe you've got two more courses that you need to finish off for next year, then it's okay. So go at that pace that's going to work for you with that pushing at the same time, right? And so you got to balance those things out yourself. So what am I trying to say? A, yes, there is some pressure um, for graduation. People are going to be asking you lots of questions. Just be straight up authentic. If you're not quite sure what you're doing next year, state that. <laughs> ah, we're not sure. We'll see what happens. Look for people in your life that you could be chatting with about that. That might be the guidance counselor. That might be a parent or grandparent. Uh, I'm always available too. your advisory teacher. If you just want to bounce off some things off an adult, it's worth doing. Okay. Have lots of discussions about it and then just keep on moving forward. 
So we're going to talk about today some of the practical things that you need to do for graduation. And part of that, and we'll go on to the next slide. Here's, so how do we graduate? You know, one of the things about being online that you're figuring this out is the responsibility is a little higher on yourself to be looking at some things, right? And so we are going to try to help you out the best we can by sending you newsletters and information specifically to grade 12s. So when Ms. Van Eiselstein sends you something like we did this week, really take the time to read that through. Um, so you can see uh, what she's planning for yourselves as well as what we're sending here from the office. So what do we, uh, what do we know? You do need enough credits to graduate high school. And so on our website, if you go to our school and then you'll see there's a tab there that says graduation, this is all uh, typed out there for you. Ms. Van Eiselstein has also sent you that information even just recently uh, and said, okay, you need 100 credits. Here's what those 100 credits look like. Some of us, though, are graduating um, not with the same 100 credits. So we're, there's different paths, right? Uh, they're not getting a diploma, but they are graduating high school. So if you're that student, you're also going to want to make sure that that's all organized. Walking the stage. Mr. Smith, can I just hop in real quick there? So with that last piece that he just mentioned, if you're confused about that, that's the K&E Certificate of Achievement. And I've mm -hmm. spoken with you if you are on that track. So if you don't know what that is, you're not in that category. Okay, thanks. Fantastic. Appreciate that. It's funny because as soon as I start mentioning something, I'm like, oh man, this is, I have to explain this more. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so thank you. So first is making sure we have enough credits. The other thing is signing in and signing up for something called my pass, which many of you might have already done, but if not, we're here to help you. So, and I'll talk about this in a second. You received a survey this morning. So it came in the MailChimp. And then one of those things was the survey to fill out. Part of that survey for graduation is also, have you connected with my past yet? So you've already received some information. One came from Ms. Uh, Van Eiselstein saying, here's the my past information. It's on our website under graduation. And in this survey, it asks you, have you signed up for my past yet? And if you haven't, it's going to ask you for a personal email. And if you put in your personal email, then uh, Mrs. Reinhardt or Miss Reinhardt, she will set you up for my pass and send you your information, username and password to get in there. So what's my pass all about? Well, there are some videos on the website, but the bottom line for my pass is when you get in there, you can see your Alberta record for how many courses you have taken. It's called a DAR. Okay, detailed academic report. So you can see exactly how many credits and what Alberta has for your list of high school. So the other thing you can do in there is you can also choose where you want to write your diplomas. Now, I know this seems like a lot, but don't worry, we're going to piecemeal it out in email. So you can write your diplomas at various writing centers. So if you are a grade 12 student and you live in Edmonton, because we have students from all over Alberta, you can sign up to write your diploma at a high school that is close to you, okay? And that's part of the My Pass as well. And we're also gonna help you with that. So don't worry, we're gonna support you through it, but that's also that access area. Mr. So Smith, can I tag ahead. here? If yeah. you are a current uh, Summit Trails student who lives within the boundaries of Rocky View School Division, you are going to get that organized for you. We will tell you where you're writing your diploma exams. So you actually don't have to use my pass to set up your diploma exam, unless you want to write somewhere different. Thanks. I mean, let that sit for a second. All right, so summer trail students, uh, sorry, RVS students, if you live in our catchment area, we set it up for you, okay? Either way, no one is out in the cold everyone gets help so that's that's good okay uh being in good standing what does that mean so when we come up to may 25th we take a look to see how you're doing in your courses 
So if you need, you know, these two core courses to graduate and you're not passing those courses, then you're not in good standing because the two courses you need to graduate, you don't have them. And by May 25th, even though it seems like, well, I got another month. Well, actually you only have about two weeks uh, because then we hit exams. And so at that time, that's where we go in to, to take a look, see where you're at. And we may be then reaching out to you to say, what's, what's going on here. So I really want you, especially in that semester two, to be staying on top of your studies. Okay, keep pushing forward. Uh, don't let it drop. Now, if you are one credit away, can you still walk the stage? And that's where you're going to talk to, to Ms. Van Eiselstein and say, okay, here's what's going on. Walking the stage is different from getting a diploma. Walking the stage is saying you're, uh, and you're right close, so you may be like two or three credits away. And can I still walk the stage, Mr. Smith? And I will say yes, because you have told me here's the plan for me to get those three credits. And so walking the stage is making sure that you have a plan moving forward and you're right close to that finish line. Okay. And that's made on a person by person basis. So Take a look at that when we get closer to the time, really continue to push yourself forward, okay? What do you need for a diploma? We sort of talked about that, see the grad page. Valedictorian, so the, I will push out that application uh, probably around February, and if you're interested in being a valedictorian, you can take a look at uh, what's all included there. We have had two fantastic valedictorians, uh, and so it's, it's a real honor if, if that's you, so put in your application, you can see if, if you reach these stipulations on those things when we get closer to the time. We still have the Rutherford Award. The Rutherford is given to uh, students who have achieved a certain level of success from grade 10, 11, and 12. And if you go to university and college, okay, so you have to go to post-secondary, there are some monies that Alberta will give you. It's, it's not a ton, but there are some monies that you will get from having high standings in your courses. Okay, so that is another reason why you want to work hard in your courses, because you could get some money from Alberta through the Rutherford's awards uh, for university. Scholarship information, we will continue to send out information for scholarships. There are some really great sites. If you just Google Alberta scholarships, uh, university, things like that, there are a couple sites and we'll send you the links where you sign up to the site and they will send you a scholarships are coming up. They will send it to you to say, here's what this scholarship is. See if you can apply. Scholarships are a lot of work. It's not just putting your name in. So you usually have to do an essay. Um, some scholarships are very specific um, most recently, uh, my daughter filled one for uh, females going into science. And so uh, they said there's money if you're going in this area and you're a female. And so you take a look at what the scholarship is asking for. And then if it fits uh, where you're headed, then fill those things out. You never know, okay, what could come your way. There is also university scholarships, believe it or not, that are automatic. So U of C has some automatic uh, scholarships uh, based upon how well you do in your courses. So also universities are helping you out too. Ms. Mr. Ben you had a you had a question from someone asking, can you explain what a valedictorian is? Absolutely. So a valedictorian is someone in grade 12 that has exhibited what it looks like to be a student who has been successful academically as well as leadership wise and so these are individuals that are um will say embody what a summit trails student can look like now at some schools valedictorians are more or less about having the highest level of marks so when I went to high school, our valedictorian had 101%, literally, 
okay, as, as his GPA. So when you put all the courses together and average it. In our school, it's a combination of doing well academically, but also overcoming um, struggles in one's life. So there's that growth piece and as well as they are a part in various leadership aspects of the school. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, again, it's on that web page. Take a look at Valedictorian and you can still be a part of things. You can still be a part of leadership if you'd like to be. Um, so there's options there as well. Okay, applications to college and university, if that's you, there are some um, pre-applications going on right now. I believe uh, U of C has just opened up their pre-acceptance. So if that's something that you're interested in, it's time to take a look at those universities that you're thinking about or colleges and literally just go onto their sites and see when the application registration times are. Okay, so I know U of A has just opened theirs, U of C has opened theirs. My guess is U of L is gonna be right around the same time. Or if you're looking at SAITS, same sort of idea. Take a look to see when does SAITS um, start taking registrations. And I know our time is, is clipping away, so I'll, I'll just say this. If you're thinking of going into a certain profession or trade uh, or vacation, don't make assumptions about what the university or the college is asking for for, for courses. So if you're going to say and you are going in to be a journeyman, um, let's say for an electrician, it's time to go and look up electrician with SATE and find out exactly what is required. The reason being is if you're saying, man, I got to have 30-2 math and you go and take a look at SATE and they're not even asking for 30-2 math, then it's time to say, well, do I really need to take 30-2 math? because you want your GPA to be as high, as high as it can be. But at least just take a look to see what is the university asking for, for that program. And then meet with the guidance counselor to say, okay, this is what I'm thinking. Am I correct here? Again, you're, you're not on your own. Okay, we have a bona fide graduation day. I mean, this is the real deal. We, we do it up, people, okay? So when you're walking the stage, it is really walking the stage. We had a wonderful year last year at the theater in Airdrie. It's uh, the Burt Church Theater. Uh, it, uh, we had a little uh, gala afterwards with foods. Uh, man, it was, it was beautiful. And I don't wanna give everything away because there are some special things I just want you to experience when you come but realize that you are walking the stage and it is meaningful for family members to watch you do that. So I know some of us, uh, it's difficult getting up in front of people and having to walk across. Uh, I get it, it is, it can be hard, but go for it, it's worth it. So when is it? June 4th, so if we push it a little farther, past May into June, which is great because it's closer to that time or you will know that if you're graduating, it's at Burt Church Theater, which is in Airdrie. The time is at 6.30. We will talk about this more closer to the time, all right? You get there at six o'clock. We create these graduation boxes that we send out to you. And it's got your gown, your cap, your tassel, um, some other cool things in there. And it's yours to keep. You take it with you. You don't return it. It's yours. So we do some special things there. It's uh, $70 for you to graduate and that will be in school cash and that is due in march okay the quicker you pay the more that you will solidify your spot so uh, that will come to your parents email it'll just ding saying hey there is uh, something to pay here it is refundable so if you pay now and then you find out oh, i'm not able to graduate um you know let's say in march you want it, you decide to pull out and do it the year after we can give you your money back, no problem at all. Right now, it's four to five, we're estimating um, guests, okay? We will send you that information. This year, we are going to try to do seats through Eventbrite, so you can actually uh, get your seats ahead of time. So we're gonna give that a go. 
it is webcasted. So if you have family in other parts of Alberta or in the world, they can pipe in and see you graduate. And we will go through all those things, these closer to the time. So great. Okay. You would have received an email today with, <laughs> with this link. Okay, this is a form. Here we go. Okay. So this is the email that you got today. Okay, here's the link for our website. And then this one here is their registration. So let's just quickly go in here. And then we'll have questions. For you to be able to walk the stage, okay, that's what we're talking about. Registration to walk this, the stage, you've got to fill this out. You'll notice here where it says, have you checked um, my pass to make sure you have enough credits to graduate? Uh, here's the information for my pass. If the answer is no, you, ha you don't have a login, then it asks you, give us your personal email and we will connect my pass to your personal email and send you that information. So you put it in there. And then here, are you planning to attend? Some folks are graduating with us, but they're not planning to attend. So let us know. If, if you're not sure, then fill that out. If it's a no, I'm not coming, that's important for us to know. So if you say yes, we are definitely uh, attending. How many guests? Just do an estimate. And you've got a week to fill this out. So have a chat with your family. If you're like, yep, yeah, I need all five tickets. You can put that in there for like, realistically, only four are, are gonna be coming. That's really important. And then do you require more than six seats? So this is, <clears throat> if you have a larger family, doesn't mean you're gonna get the tickets, but if you do need more than six, you can say, yeah, I'm gonna probably need eight. Can't guarantee it, but at least we know what we're working with. And then this is important to guests that require accessibility. Gotta put in a name here, okay. Okay, now your gown size. When we make up your boxes, they're specific for you. And so it's putting in here your height. So if you're, you know, five, nine, and then the gown sizes, there are only two sizes, actually. It's not like uh, going in and there's six sizes. It's either the regular size um, or extra, extra large. So it may not always fit well, but that's sort of graduation. That's, that's what it, it's always been that way, right? So it's all good. Walking the stage, life saying or person who made a difference in your life. So when you walk the stage, uh, we read something out about you. You don't have to put something in here, but if there's something meaningful you'd like to communicate, you can. So uh, if you're saying, you know, your life saying is whatever it is, you know, rock on, that's not meaningful, but hey, wh whatever it is your thing that gets you going in the morning, you can put that in there. But you can also put in there something like, um, I appreciate um, my grandfather uh, who stood by me. Okay, we're gonna read that out. Uh, it can't be a big long thing, but you can put a couple sentences. And then what are your future plans? This again is, is optional. So if you don't have to fill this out, but if you are saying, you know, hoping to be or do, you know, you feel that, go for it. It's totally up to you, okay? And then if you think that there's a specific song of your generation that you really want, think is pretty amazing, put that in there. We always get some really interesting things that go in there. Okay, before I open it up for questions, it's just the reminder, I keep saying website over and over again. What am I talking about? So here's our website. If you go to our school, which is the next one over, takes a minute to load, you see graduation is right here. Graduation information. Whenever we have updates, okay, it all goes here. For instance, there is photos. Photos happen between March 4th and 8th. <clears throat> You'll, we'll send out sign up information for that. It's here at uh, in Airdrie, CW Perry. That's where we're housed. Okay, you can come and get your grad photos. 
and everything else is in here and you can pass this on to your parents. This is being recorded today and I'll be sending this out to uh, your parents or guardians so that they can also see what's what's going on. There's the road to graduation, my pass information, how to do it. Here are diploma requirements. Here is what the valedictorian is all about. All right. I've given you a lot of information. We will continue to piecemeal that out to you a uh, little by little through emails. And if you do have any questions, talk to your advisory teacher. Okay, they can help you out with it. Talk to the guidance counselor. Have a discussion, start having a discussion with your parents or whoever you're living with now about what that end of the year is going to look like for you. So grade 12, so unfortunately, it doesn't look like there will be time for me to speak today. But as Mr. Smith mentioned, if you do have questions about anything graduation or credit related, let me know. Um, keep in mind, too, that what they've got on the site are the minimum requirements for a high school diploma. So definitely check out what you might be interested in going into in post-secondary because those could differ from the minimum requirement and they most likely do. So yeah, if you can do, re referring back to Mr. Smith's earlier analogy, if you can do math 30-2, even if you don't need it for your program right now, do it because that will keep more doors open for you. So if you have the capability of doing more, definitely do more. <laughs>